Hey, Cook Hall Chef Kent here, and today we're whipping up some beef and potato burritos. They're easy to put together, but more importantly, they're delicious. So let's do what we do. Let's make it happen. We have ground beef. We have a Mexican cheese blend. We have some potatoes. We have some vegetable oil. We have some flour tortillas, taco sauce, black olives that are sliced. We have Worcestershire sauce. We have a lime. We have a serrano pepper. We have onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, and paprika. I'm starting out by rolling this lime to get it all juicy. And then I'm using my citrus juicer to give it a little juice juice. Now, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of lime juice. You know, it depends on the lime. Now, I'm just slicing up some serrano. You can use a jalapeno, but it's optional. You don't have to use any pepper at all. Now with these potatoes, I'm gonna slice them. Then I'm gonna turn them around and slice them again. What I'm doing is a small dice, which is perfect for these burritos. Then I'm gonna get them in some water and set them aside. We're gonna put them in the water so they won't change color on us and get that funky little pink thing going on. Next, I added the ground beef to the pan and started browning the ground beef. I have the pan on low, just nice chilled out situation. Not in a big hurry, we're in the kitchen cooking, having fun, enjoying ourselves. So the next thing I did was drain that. Worcestershire sauce goes in, then some taco sauce, I tossed in those chilies, I added those black olives. Get in there, olives. And there's the lime juice. And here's all the seasonings, the paprika, the onion powder, the garlic powder, the black pepper, the salt. And we're gonna mix all that up and cook that about five to seven minutes. We're gonna give it a taste and make sure it tastes right. Make sure it has enough salt, make sure it has enough pepper. And then we're gonna put it in a bowl and set it aside. The next thing I did was get some oil back into the pan, about an inch of vegetable oil here, and I brought it up to 375 degrees. And then I fried the potatoes. I fried them in two batches. We just move them around and cook them. What we're looking for are them to become crispy and brown, that whole golden brown and delicious type deal. That's what we're looking for. And we remove them with a slotted spoon. Afterwards, I gave the potatoes a sprinkling of sea salt. Now we got the ground beef mixture in the bowl and we're adding the potato mixture to the bowl and we're going to give that a nice stir. We're almost there, guys. We warmed up some tortillas in the microwave and we're going to wrap these things up. We're gonna add some filling evenly between all of the tortillas and the cheese evenly between all the tortillas. And we're gonna wrap these guys up in aluminum foil, get them on a baking sheet and bake them off for between 15 and 20 minutes. Also, when you wrap them up, you can just toss them in the freezer and then when you're ready to use them, you can just toss them in the oven. There you have it. Some delicious beef and potato burritos. Hope you enjoy these. You can find the recipe at chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. So we got it out of the oven. And there it is. Look at that thing. Okay, guys. That's all for this week. I'll see you next week. Chef Kendra is out. Peace.